don't put on no act for nobody but yourself. Just rely on yourself and rely on your friends in some sort of way as the boys being there for each other, and that's what it's all about. Oh, try this thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. oh. So, where'd you guys hang out before you had the two pipe houses? Um, our first place we ever had was down at Rockies in like 96, 97. Oops, 95, 96. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this was the first house we ever rented right here. It was right when everyone first like met each other and everyone just came and just hung out. We're so stoked to be right here at Rockies. That was when we all first met Barney and he used to do these nuts backflips. Every time he went surfing, he would do backflips all the way from the porch all the way down to the beach. So funny. And then the house just got totally thrashed and after one season we got kicked out and got banned from renting anything else on the North Shore except for the VLAN hood. So this is where we had two houses after that, right? Before all these houses got built, this used to be a full ghetto. Now it's this crazy $10 million houses on the beach. The place changed a lot. When we first moved in, there's this huge 300 pound moke named Uncle Nate. And the guy like hated howlies. Every time we'd see him, we were all super scared of him. And then the place used to like flood. Every time it rained, we'd have to make sandbags until the flood wouldn't come in and then our toilets would overflow. And then when they tore all these places down, we had to move. We got a little apartment at Backyards for like half the winter that year. This first A-frame right here was the Backyards apartment we had. We scored a lot of fun waves at Yards. Kaleo Roberson actually posted up there the whole time that year. And it was pretty low key, no one really knew we were staying there. There was just a mystery like rip off thief every once in a while, like stuff would just go missing. It was the weirdest thing ever. We never found out who it was or anything, but it could have been a ghost, you never know. <laughs> Some spirits. Yeah. Then it was off to the Ted's Bakery House. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we moved here for the rest of the year that year. Clint built a huge half pipe in the yard. Clint Moncada, I'm the uh, Fulcrum sales rep. There's some weird drama, like gnarliest girl fight I ever saw on the ramp. Two girls fighting over Coley Sandrich, just like going toe to toe. And then later on that night, some bunch of huge Tongans all came to the house and just like beat up everyone that was at the house. Like the rails got like ripped out, walls were all broken, and then we got booted out of here too. But actually getting kicked out of here might have been a blessing in disguise because the next year, 2000, we ended up getting our first house at Pipe. And then the whole team surfing Pipe, everyone's just there, bam. And this is where everything in the movie Football Schmootball went down right here. It's pretty uh, outstanding, the amount of uh, action that has gone down here at the Volcom House. I'm, I don't know, it's, it's good to see. Plus it keeps everybody in line, having all the boys right here and can't really step over the line. <laughs> I had to go home one time. history from there. Welcome to Hawaii. Yacht! <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to get one of the fish. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Ready to do it on. And this is where everything in the movie Football Schmootball went down right here. It's crazy. The rest is history after that. Now the welcome to Hawaii. Welcome to Hawaii! <laughs> <laughs> we keep this place a lot cleaner now. And, oh, look at your feet, bro! Oh, look at your feet! <laughs> 
Life is good. Just another hangover there. In beautiful Hawaii.